Charlotte, it's me, Steve. Open up. Please, Charlotte, I want to help you. I know you're in there. Jesus Christ, Charlotte, you're scaring everyone to death. Please open up. All right, Charlotte, I'm going to give you three seconds, and I'm going to come in and open the door whether you're ready or not. One, two, three. Jesus Christ, what is that smell? How the hell did you get in here? Charlotte, yeah. it's me, Steve. I said, how the hell did you get into my apartment? Dad gave me the keys. I had to come and check on you. What, you don't remember me anymore? It's me, Steve. So you say you're Steve? My biological brother? Yes, I am Steve, Charlotte, your brother. Prove it or I'll have to smash you into strawberry jam! What, do you need a, a blood test or something? I, I... No, you can replicate blood easily. One thing they can't replicate is memory. So if you can tell me a memory that only you and I will know, then I will accept your claim. There was this one time Mom and Dad took us to Big Bear. It was just you and me walking around the lake near Grandpa's cabin. Suddenly we saw a baby fox that had been shot in the arm by some hunters. You ran over to that fox, picked it up, and it sang to me. You are my sunshine. You were so sweet in that moment. Steve, oh my god, I missed you! Jesus Christ, Charlotte. Annie Sarah called me, she said it got worse. For Christ's sake. Charlotte, you have to start getting some help for this or something. Oh, she's Sarah's dead. What? She's dead. One of those fucking aliens replicated her and then came snooping around here two days ago I'm, to stop For Christ's sake, Charlotte, I'm begging you. You need to get some help or something. A therapist, at least. No fucking way. All of those aliens are bastards. Don't you understand, Steve? Only 9% of the population on planet Earth is human. The rest are all aliens that are just replicated as humans, and all they do is saturate the roles of therapists, psychotherapists, politicians, self-help gurus, YouTube stars, and they won't stop until- At least get out of this crazy-ass apartment. I mean, for, for Christ's sake, what is that smell? Dad thought you being independent would help you, but it seems you just turned this place into a shithole and it's I making- I do, Steve. I do, every night. But as I mentioned before, outside is filled to the brim with those aliens, and all they do is follow me around to no end, pushing me to fucking kill myself by sending me subliminal signals. One night, it was this creepy lady and this weird baby that was shadowing me around in the streets, and then last night, it was this weird little shit dog that was stalking me as I was walking around my apartment complex. Steve, it has become every night, every night! Charlotte, listen. I admit, I wasn't always there for you. I was too focused on my stupid university and... Just tell me why you are the way that you are. What happened? What made you think that aliens are out there trying to ruin your life? It started when they replicated Chris. Chris? C Chris Smith? That kid with freckles who one day came into our house, broke up with you, and left you crying on the floor? That Chris? Chris never broke up with me. I was literally there when it happened. I wanted to break his arm when he did that to you. That thing wasn't Chris. The real Chris would have remembered all the memories we spent together, and that thing remembered none of them. Also, Cameron! They couldn't replicate her, so they made her disappear. I remember Cameron. That sad Japanese girl. Listen, Charlotte, I know she was your best friend, but she had her own problems. Her dad was pushing her to convert to her religion, and none of that matters. None of that has anything to do with any aliens, or you for that matter. It wasn't just Chris and Cameron, Steve. It was Miss Burgess, Dr. Jones, Uncle Henry, Sarah, Peter. All of them got replicated by aliens. These aliens are replacing everyone that I love to drive me to insanity! And holding yourself up in here is gonna be of any help? No. Back 
actually live bits and pieces as well, though. And if you care about me or anyone else, then you'll join me too. Sorry, I haven't. As a matter of fact, I don't actually live here. This is my sister's apartment. I'm just visiting. But, uh, oh, I can show her the photo if you'd like. That would be great, actually. You have such a cute dog. What's his name? His name's Alex. I really need him for getting around. Get away from that thing? It's one of them. No, Charlotte, no! Steve, it's one of them! No. It's all right. It's all right. She's one of my friends. Her memories are still intact. She's not an alien. All right? Just, just go to your room and I'm gonna explain and warn her about the whole alien thing. What just happened? Nothing. Nothing. My sister just had a nervous breakdown over her. Next, Chris. I'm so sorry, I know that's super rough. By the way, did you show her the photo of Alex? Oh yeah, um, no, uh, sorry, we haven't seen him. You can have the photo back. Oh, okay, um, well, right, here you go. Okay, <laughs> thank you, um, well, if you do see him, please let me know. here to uh, help her, hopefully, take her to a clinic that uh, we were recommended by some friends. Will you be taking an ambulance? No, well, I'm going to be driving. Why? Well, there's a maniac around here. The police have been finding multiple bodies across the neighborhood saying that these people were beaten to death by baseball bats. And just yesterday night, they found the body of a woman and her baby. Anyways, have a good night. I should get going. It's getting late. And if you see Alex, please let me know. I will. Bye. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Always lock the door, Steve. The aliens can't break the locks. What happened to your friend? Oh yeah, Heather totally believes all the alien theories. And why does she leave? She has a dentist appointment. At 10 p.m.? In a world where human replicating aliens exist, is a dentist appointment at 10 p.m. really the most far-fetched thing? Yeah, whatever. I want to go out and do the damage trouble. 